Okay, so let me do a quick video before things get completely done. You saw, probably saw the pictures of the back of the house with the uh, rusted metal awning kind of half ha haphazardly on there. Well, that's getting redone. It got ripped off and we're extending the ceiling on these walls to make them taller. And uh, I'm sure this one will be removed too. And then a whole new top built back here. Uh, you can see these uh, columns or pillars being built with the rebar. That'll be the outer edges of this porch. And then we've got the side of the house over here between between the fence and the side. And uh, just, just perfect for maybe a future driveway or carport or something. We're gonna, these two windows out here on the side, um, that's the two bedrooms. And so we're gonna add AC, mini split AC units. So we'll have the outdoor compressors out here in the indoor part up above the windows. That's the front porch over here. So it's not a very big house. And, uh, yeah, if you look here, the corner of the back patio, uh, back bedroom window. This is the uh, outdoor CR, comfort room, restroom, shower, toilet. There's the toilet bowl. As you can see, it's just ceramic bowl attached to the floor. No seat. No to flusher, no tank, and uh, yeah. there's no running water in here whatsoever. But we're gonna we're gonna add some some water, like a a bucket and a dipper for taking a shower, and some lights, and we're gonna make it nice. We can walk out onto this patio that's not here yet. Go around the corner and into the back door. This is where all the work's being done, a lot of it. Um, let's see if I can zoom out on this camera at all. Yeah, okay. So this is the kitchen area. We added these two plugs here. Um, and then this is like a cubby, and we were thinking to put the refrigerator on one side, it's about half the size of that, and then some shelving on the other side, so getting rid of this shelf here, putting the refrigerator and some shelving in there. But, uh, and then this is like an added on outdoor type thing, but it's got a sink in there. If you look in here, and Jinky is kind of partial to it because her grandfather built this by hand. But it's got a sink made of concrete in here around this wall. Looking back at it, so trying to encourage her to, to redesign this whole thing over here as an actual. So if we can cut this wall out, because it's not really needed, cut this shelf out, let's just take all this away and open this up as an L shaped cabinet with a refrigerator that would be ideal and um and if you ask me i would want to raise this up and make it a bar height with a couple of stools i think that would be really nice especially if this little kitchen is appropriated um, but we'll see how that goes the new the new breaker box i'm just gonna go here you can see where they etched it out into the wall and then they, they got some etched out cut areas where they're gonna put like switches and outlets more outlets here um, you can see they added this outlet here and it just goes to there because it cuts over in the bedroom but this is the kitchen and this is the the family room I guess you'd call it or the interest room we'll put like couple of you know couch and love seat little end table and stuff in there that'll be nice and then that's the porch the front door to the porch this is the bedroom uh, you see that bed frame is 
custom made but the bed will go in that corner so you can walk forward to a little nightstand here and then we'll have a custom built closet to fit here so you've got two directions to walk when you come in here and then the mini split would go over that window and the ceiling fan right directly in the center of the room so yeah we, I had them add this electrical outlet but I, I drew it wrong and they put it in this corner when in actuality we, we need it over here in this corner so I'm probably just gonna have them add one more it looks like that one. Oh, that must be where they're going to add the outdoor outlet. And that makes sense. See this cut out in the... They haven't dug it out. Here's the old breaker boxes, though. I'm almost afraid to touch these things. Look at that. There's two of those. Hopefully they'll just going to get rid of those. And uh, you can see up there they have isolators on the wood that's the old style wiring the new style wiring is uh gonna be conduit and this bedroom here will have the bed in that corner between those two windows and again you can walk forward to a, a nightstand here with an outlet for charging your phones and things and then a closet made to fit here as well AC unit over that window and a ceiling fan so we only, we're adding two AC units for now I think we're just gonna add the one in this room where we're staying but we're wiring and getting ready for the other one and they're both smaller units so, uh, minimum of 250 watts so I mean, they could run off solar if ever um, Jinky wants to keep this wall here it's like a partition wall because her Lolo, her grandfather, who passed away, you know, this was his house, and he built that wall. And so she wants to keep it. Um, I think it's great. I'd like to make it more of a portable wall or something. So maybe it can be um, adjusted and moved. But she also, you know, she's her grandfather made this island here which I'd like to revamp that too. We're gonna have to, she wants to put a big table here from the wall to here and add some, some lights and maybe some stones. And yeah, I think that's about it. Add some tile flooring. You wanna see what's out the front door? Sure. There's the front door. Little porch area front window and the basketball a big slab here right inside the basketball court here's the insulation that. and that will go up like this you can see some is already installed on the inside of the metal roof and then another layer will be installed over the wood here to try and keep the heat from coming in and the cold from escaping